Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's coffee is coconut crumble. I'll be adding my chocolate caramel creamer to that. It's the great value Walmart brand. I've been drinking it for a long time. And I know it's not the healthiest, but I usually only have one cup a day, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So today's temperature is going to be 60 degrees, but it's very gloomy and chilly because it's supposed to rain all day. You can see over there, it's not looking too, too bright and cheerful out there, but I actually like rainy days. I mean, I don't like every day being a rainy day, but, you know, I can deal with a couple days a week because I can light my fireplace and my candles and make a nice cozy day out of it. So, I have to get to work today on my food stash. I have to repackage some things, start getting it organized. And I still have a few things to do in my dining room. It seems like, I don't know, I think while I'm sleeping, somebody comes around and just makes a big mess for me. But I know it's me. It's of my own doing, so I have to undo it. So let's have some cream in the coffee. I don't know, I tried drinking coffee black at one phase in my life, and... I did it, well, I put sugar in it back then. I mean, that was a long time ago. And uh, I don't know, I just don't get any pleasure out of drinking black coffee. It, it's too bitter to me, but I love it with creamer. I used to drink it just with cream and sugar, and that's good. You know, when I go over my mom's, I just put, she doesn't have liquid creamer like that. So I just put some sugar and some powdered creamer in there. And I know that's not good for you either, but it's what she has available. So when I go over and have a coffee with her, that's what I have. So let's give this a try. I'm sure it's delicious. Cheers. Yep, it's good. So my plans for today, um, I still have to put my legs up every now and then go during the day, but the doctor did say to exercise, so he wants you to walk around. He doesn't just want me to sit all day, but to apply some of the moist heat a couple times a day. He said that'll make it uh, heal faster. So that's what I'm going to do. And besides that, I can't work for hours on end anymore. Uh, every couple of hours, or depends on the day, I have to stretch out anyway. So um, that's my life now. And you know what? It's okay. It gives me more time to relax, more time to do some things while I sit I can read or watch some YouTube or uh, watch a movie or whatever it is I want to do. So I'm going to embrace it as a win, even though it's harder and harder to keep up with, you know, keeping the house clean. And that's why I'm decluttering. And um, that way, once all my rooms are decluttered, I can close a couple of them off until I need them. And I'll probably just close the heat into those rooms, and it might even save me a little bit of money on my heating bill. So, all right, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and um, I will meet you at the budget book. All right, back at the budget book. Well, yesterday I did not spend any money. Um, I still want to make one more trip to Aldi's. I don't have any place that I have to go today, first of all. But within the next few days, sometime before next 
Tuesday, I want to make one more trip to Aldi's and get more butter. And they also had uh, cream of mushroom soup for 48 cents. So I want to pick up those things for my prepper stash, especially now with the holidays and making dishes like the green bean casserole or Christmas cookies if we decide to do that. Sometimes my daughter and I will bake Christmas cookies, so that's always fun. But... um I think I'll probably get six more butter. I already got six. And that should be enough to get me through the holiday season and actually probably through the rest of the year as far as butter goes. And the mushroom soup, I think maybe I'll get ten of them and that'll only be four dollars and eighty cents. So, and you know, that lasts like a really long time. So anyway, those are my plans as far as shopping goes. And in November and December, it's kind of hard not to pick up extra things. Although if I was really, really strapped, I mean, money's really tight. But if I got to the point where every single penny had to be turned over before it was spent, then I, I would just absolutely use what I already have. And I've been doing that a lot lately anyway, in fact, most of the time. But I do pick up a few things here and there. Um, and with as expensive as everything is, you know, you used to do a $100 haul and you had a whole counter and table full of items. Now you're lucky if you get some on the table. So I don't know when it's going to be relieved. Um, I know it's not going to be at least until maybe next year. <laughs> oh boy, anyway, some things in life, you know, the serenity prayer, but we can change it, hopefully, unless there's, you know, more shenanigans going on than what we realize. A lot of us realize there's a lot of shenanigans going on. So anyway, I'm not going to get sidetracked on that subject. So anyway, um, that is the uh, plan. And this uh, Sunday is my grandson's birthday, one of my grandsons. So my daughter's having a little birthday party for him on the 19th. So I'll be spending money there. I'll be giving him a gift. And he said, Nani, you don't have to give me a gift. Just gift me money if you want to give me a gift. And I said, Devin, that's the plan. So they're all perfectly happy with a card with some money. So that's what he's getting. And uh, so I'm not going to do as well this month as I did in September where I only spent money on two days. That was great. October, I only spent money on six days, and I'm already up to five days here. So November, I'll be spending a little more, but I'm still on, an, on a no-low spend, so I still plan on keeping a, a tight eye on my finances and not just running out willy-nilly spending a ton of money. I just can't afford to do that anymore. And as far as, you know, just buying a lot of clothes and tchotchkes, and, you know, I really don't need any more unless I find a top that I absolutely love. You know, then I, I would probably, if it wasn't expensive, then I would probably go ahead and get that. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really tightening the belt as much as I can for the holidays. But I don't want to be super chintzy on my gift giving, so hopefully I'll get the cash together by December to uh, enable myself to 
give the gifts I like to give, and, and I really enjoy giving gifts. Um, you know, I know a lot of people don't celebrate the holidays, or, you know, you can make a nice holiday even with uh, small gifts. You know, give the gift of your time, or, you know, give the uh, repurposed uh, gifts. Anything like that is perfectly nice, too. So, all right, well, I will be back with our daily reading. I think we're on day 14 of Simple Life. And I've been getting some good ideas from it. Not every day speaks to me, but uh, most of it does. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, time for day 14. Simple living. Enjoy seasonal abundance. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3.1 Cardboard flavored winter supermarket tomatoes can never duplicate summer ripe tomatoes. When fruits and vegetables are in season, they deliver fabulous flavor at the lowest prices. So it is also with life. Savoring seasonal abundance is an easy way to enjoy life every day of the year. Instead of going on expensive vacations to distant climates, enjoy an hour or two celebrating the seasons at home. Enjoy fruit when it's at its peak. Be thankful in whatever weather a day offers. Stop and smell the roses. And give thanks for the small joys of living simply in God's seasonal abundance. So, um, a reading from 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life by Candy Paul. Enjoy simple seasonal celebrations. Gather fall leaves. Build a snowman. Pick a spring bouquet. Light sparklers. Have a summer picnic. Visit a farmer's market. So that's the suggestions for today. And like today, you know, like I said, it's rainy and not the nicest weather outside, but um, I can light my little faux TV fireplace, light some candles in my kitchen and living room, cozy up under a blanket, maybe watch a movie. Drink some hot tea or another cup of coffee this afternoon with a little treat. Maybe start a project that I'm looking forward to. It doesn't always have to be work. Maybe it could be I could start a painting or read a book. There's lots of things to do inside that don't always have to be affiliated with working. So... Those are just a few suggestions, and if you have some suggestions, leave them in the comments below. All right, I will be back in a little bit, and we'll see what else is going on today. I have no clue. Right, I'm having some afternoon tea, and while I'm doing that, I'm cleaning some buckets so that they'll be nice and dry by the time I put my uh, rice and beans and things in the buckets. So I just wanted to take a chance and remind you all of joining our Facebook group with the same name, Ellen's Abundant Life on Less. I have a page and I have a group. Now the group, you have to send me a request to join. So, and we're over 200 and some subscribers. So if you haven't joined us yet and you're on Facebook, Go on over and join Ellen's Abundant Life Unless Facebook group. So to like the page, the page is public. Anybody can, can like the page, but the group is private. So And we have ladies that post videos on there, pets, what they're doing, if they're doing no spends, <clears throat> all kinds of things. So 
if you have something you'd like to share, a video, um, pictures of your pets, pictures of you, whatever you would like, your garden, seed starting, as long as you keep whatever it is nice and everybody gets along, we're good to go. So I'm uh, to do these buckets. I'm just using some of this this Dawn because when I brought these home, these were from Walmart and they're the smaller buckets. And when I brought these home, some of them, they, they had been rinsed out, but I know they weren't washed. So they've just been in a pile in the garage up until now. But with my mouse problem, I have to do a little bit better job of storing my food. So all I'm doing, and it's simple, is just spraying the inside of the buckets. And if there's anything left of the frosting or... Um, whatever, because it's usually what was in the smaller buckets, um, it, it takes it right off. So I'm going to clean about probably six or seven of these. I don't know how many I'll need, but I'm going to start with that. And then um, later on in a day or two, I'm going to go ahead and put some, some of my food in there. So, all right. That's what I'm doing this afternoon, and I decided to make it a pajama day. Because it's definitely gray and dreary out there, and since I'm not going anywhere, what's the point of getting dressed? I know some people that, uh, I don't remember if it's Fly Lady, I don't know, but I was watching a video where she gets up and she puts on her tennis shoes and gets dressed. Well, I don't wear those in the house. I wear my slippers and I just like to be very comfortable on days where I don't go anywhere. So I have a lot of pajama days and so what? So, all right, I will be back later and I don't know. We'll see what else is going on today. All right, I cleaned all the buckets. I'm just waiting for them to dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to make something for dinner tonight. So I have some of this Impossible Beef Light. Never tried the light before. Um, I got that from the freezer. I have some soup here that I made the other day and I'm kind of tired of eating it as soup. I'm going to make this into a gravy and I'm going to thicken it with some cornstarch. I have some green onions that I want to use up. I have some very dry bread that I'm going to turn into breadcrumbs. I have some parsley, rosemary, oregano. Um, I probably have some thyme somewhere too. Uh, so I'm going to add salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and uh, make myself some dinner. I'm going to make this into a burger patty, and then if it makes a big enough uh, portion, then I'm going to also make some meatballs. So I will be back once I get this all prepped up, and <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Just using up what I have, use it up. I'm also going to put an egg in here. Now if you're vegan, instead of vegetarian, go ahead and uh, use a flax egg. That's just to bind it. So okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just cubing up these breadcrumbs. I have a few more to go. And I don't want to pulverize them. So you just want to make them like that, fresh breadcrumbs. So. I'm going to make that whole little piece and just dump it in a bowl. It's my slow cooker bowl, but it doesn't matter. It's what I'm about. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this now. And then I'm going to add the spices. And um, we'll see how this goes. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I just cubed this up before I blitz it. And uh, another thing, this is pretty dry. It's not bone dry, 
but it's it's dry. So another thing you could make out of this is croutons, or you can use it for your Thanksgiving stuffing. So don't throw your dried bread away. Uh, you can cut it into slices, especially if it's a smaller uh, roll or something, and you can coat it with some oil and some herbs and bake it into a crostini to serve with hummus or guacamole, whatever you have. So use it up. I'm going to put mine in the not meatloaf. Okay, I found a couple more things to add, and I've decided I think I'm going to make these all uh, into a meatball-like thing. I have some of this soy milk that I want to use up, and I have this grated topping that only has a little bit left in it, so I'll see how much I'm going to put in. I think I'll put in, oh, a couple tablespoons. This is kind of salty, so don't put too much salt in unless you taste it. So that's going in there. I'm going to use up this little bit of rosemary. All that's going in there. I'm trying to use up some of my spices so that I can put fresh spices in there. The parsley, I'm going to use about oh, a tablespoon of that. Now this is finely ground, so anywhere between two teaspoons to a tablespoon. It's kind of to taste. Now I think this was my um, parsley that I grew a couple years ago. It looks homemade. Um, and then I have the oregano. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of that. And like I said, I really don't measure. Um, I usually just eyeball it. So I'm going to stir this up before I add the milk and the egg. I am going to add a little bit of salt, but I can always add more. Also going to add some pepper. Okay, and then I'm going to add some of this soy milk. And I haven't put the uh, impossible beef in there yet, so you don't want to put too much milk. You don't want to make it soupy, but you do need enough to moisten all the breadcrumbs. And don't forget you're going to add an egg yet. You can always add more uh, milk if you need to. So in goes the egg. That actually looks pretty good. All right, then I'm going to chop up this onion and add the impossible beef. And that's going to be the base to my meat. All right, I have something else I want to add. I have this still Kirkland garlic. I've had it forever. So I want to add some of that. Probably about, oh, a tablespoon anyway. If you don't like garlic, leave it out. And I also have some garlic powder here that I want to use up so I can clean the jar. So that's going in. Nice big scoop of garlic. 
I know some people don't like garlic. I love it. So just using up what I have. And this all came from either my garden or the pantry or the freezer. Except for the eggs. I did buy some eggs this time because my daughter's chickens are not laying like they did before because of the shorter days and the colder weather. So I want to give her a chance to gather up more eggs. I still have some of her eggs too, which is nice. So, all right, I didn't add the meat yet. It's just a nice mixture of herbs and spices and onions and garlic. Right, I'll be back. All right, I want to stretch this impossible burger even further. So I'm going to add about a quarter cup of oats, and these are just the, um, the instant oats, the quick cook. So about a quarter cup of that. And that makes it... Uh, you won't even know there's oatmeal in here because oatmeal to me doesn't have a whole lot of taste unless you add something to it. So what I'm going to do now is add the Impossible Burger and then I'm going to put this in the fridge for a little bit just to hydrate the oats. And if you have clean hands and it doesn't gross you out, the best mixing tool is your hands. Now, I have not tried this light Impossible. I imagine there's less fat in it because Impossible burgers do have fat in them. But this is what I had in the freezer and it's what I want to use up. And I'm kind of having the taste for some spaghetti and some meatloaf and um, what else? Oh, you know, just some comfort food. So that's what I'm going to make out of this not meat mixture. All right. I'm going to put this in the fridge for a little bit and then I'll be back later. I just tasted this. I added a little bit of thyme and I'm going to add some of the complete seasoning. It needs a little bit more of a salty taste so I'll put like a teaspoon of that and that should do it. You can also, if you don't have this, I got it at the Dollar Tree, you can add uh, seasoned salt, regular salt, uh, what uh, garlic salt, onion salt, whatever you like. All right, so while my not meat is chilling, I'm going to take my soup from the other day. And this had uh, carrots and celery and potatoes in it and oh, what else? Green onions, beans. <laughs> Put uh, cannon, hmm, no, I can't say it. Cannelloni beans. So I'm just going to blitz this all up and it's going to make a nice, thick, gravy like substance. So, first, I'm taking out all the solids because I can always add more or less broth. Depending. All right, so I'm going to blitz this up, and then I'm also going to also going to add some cornstarch to it. Now, if you don't have cornstarch, you can always make a roux, blend it up, and then. Um, cook it with the roux. 
with flour. But I'm going to use cornstarch and just blitz it up and then I'll be back. All right, I added a little bit more of the broth. It's pretty thick already, so uh, the cornstarch, I'm going to cook this and the cornstarch will make it even thicker. Um, I'm going to add a little soy sauce to this. Now, if your soup is already salty, you might want to be careful with the soy sauce, but mine isn't too salty. So I'm going to add a little soy sauce, and then I'm going to add some of this organic Worcestershire sauce. Uh, this is from Whole Foods, and it is vegan. So, but I bought some, oh, I can't remember. It was from one of the Dollar Trees. It wasn't Dollar Tree. It might have been Dollar General or Dollar Family Dollar. And I read the ingredients in their uh, Worcestershire sauce, and it was actually accidentally vegan. So I'm going to add a little bit of this in there, because, of course, you know Worcestershire sauce has a teaspoon has um, anchovy paste in it so then I'm going to cook this and thicken it up and I have a little bit of broth left in case I need to thin it out a little bit it's hard to gauge with the uh, um, arrowroot okay so that'll be my sauce and then I can either have pasta with it rice potatoes, whatever carb I like. All right, so I cook this on the stove, and this is my gravy, and it's loaded with veggies. So even if you don't make any other veggies, you've got your veggies in here. So if you have soup left over, and let's say you have a beef vegetable soup or whatever, go ahead and turn it into a gravy. It makes a beautiful gravy. And then on this, whoops, this is from Dollar Tree, and I finally used this up. Don't throw these lids away. They fit on a regular mason jars. Or if you do herbs from your garden, these are a nice size to put your dried herbs in. Uh, this comes off real easily and it's a nice big container for storing your herbs. So I'm going to go ahead and make my meatballs and probably a couple patties, and then I'm going to bake those. And um, I'll be back when I get my meal put together. All right, to go along with my meal, this was a dollar. I think I got that, oh, I think it was a big lots quite a while ago. I had it in my pantry and it's the four cheese and since I want to use up my soy milk I'm going to go ahead and make some mashed potatoes to go with my meal and I decided to fry a little bit of the, um, the meat. So um, I'm going to go ahead, and I use all milk with my mashed potatoes. I know the um, directions call for, let's see, two cups of water, but I like to make it with milk. So since I want to use this up, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I will be back when I get everything plated up. All right, well, here is tonight's dinner. My soup that I turned into gravy, the Beyond um, meat that I turned into like a Salisbury steak kind of thing, instant mashed potatoes with gravy, and some frozen broccoli that I cooked up in the microwave. So let me give this a taste. And I'm sure it'll be good, and it's a good way to use up what you have. And if you don't have any gravy and you have soup, you could probably do this with canned soup as well. So there we go. Let me try this. Mmm. 
very good. I think I'm going to make the rest into a few meatballs and a meatloaf. I have quite a bit of mixture left. Try the potatoes. So if you have a lot of milk, use milk to make your instant mashed potatoes instead of water. You can also use water. But this is a nice hearty meal, and if I wanted to, I could probably have another three or four meals of the same thing. And very inexpensive. So, all right, I'm going to eat my dinner, and I'll be back to sign off. Right. I figured I'm tired and I just ate dinner and I figured since this meat mixture is already in the slow cooker I'm just going to put it in the slow cooker four hours on low and I hope it's good I put some barbecue sauce on it I just use this sweet baby rays that's always good so I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the slow cooker because, like I said, I'm tired. I just want to put my feet up and um, put a little heat on my legs. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when it's okay, done. Okay, my friends, I had a nice relaxing day. I did a little bit of work and some cooking and some resting. So now it's time again for me to put my feet up, put a little bit of heat on my legs. I'm still doing that. The doctor said to continue to do that, so that's what I'm going to do. He said it helps things heal up faster. So, time to relax. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.